Well, hello everyone. Thank you so much for being here at the kitchen at the Cooperative Extension Office. I'm Michelle Estrada, Family and Consumer Science Agent. And you are? I am Julie Beck, Chairperson of the North Carolina Pickle Festival. And I am so happy that you're here because we have wonderful recipes that we're going to be showing. Um, uh, these are our winners. We got several recipes and I'm so excited. This is a big deal, you know that? <laughs> it is a big deal. And especially when people that are not from North Carolina, they want to participate in the festival. I know, and our first recipe to prepare is for somebody from Gaffney, South Carolina. That's and our winner's right. name is? Brenda Watts. Brenda Watts from Gaffney, South Carolina. You know what Gaffney is in Gaffney, South Carolina? A big peach. Oh my goodness. So they're good for their peaches, we're good they're for good our pickles. pickles. <laughs> that is amazing. So. Uh, Miss Brenda is really, really going um, to make us work hard because there is a lot of ingredients in here, but I'm so excited because this is a wonderful recipe. She did a great job. So are you ready? I'm ready. What is it we're making? I know it's got a long title so to it. So it has a long <laughs> title. Pork, pickle, pepper, Salisbury steak, and creamy dill Alfredo Linguini. Wow. Sounds delicious. I think so too. <laughs> so we're going to start by uh, fixing our, um, we already washed our hands. So I'm going to just kind of talk a little bit about the ingredients, but you will get the recipe at the end of the video if you want to um, model this recipe at yeah. home. So we're going to need some uh, ground pork, also ground sausage, um, a pork too. We're going to need butter, olive oil. We're going to need some of these wonderful uh, I want to have it right. My olive sweet salad cubes drain well and divide it. So we have that. Uh, we're also going to need some uh, roasted red peppers. And we're going to need uh, Vidalia pickled Vidalia onion strips. And then uh, breadcrumbs. We also have um, Parmesan cheese grated. And we have some ketchup. We have egg. We have um, Italian uh, seasoning. And we have some pepper. My God. This, this is just for the first oh, thing of the wow, recipe because wow. when we move to the other side of the kitchen, we'll um, talk a little bit more okay. about the ingredients. Well, let's, so, let's, let's check it out. Okay. Let's dig in. So, um, do you want to just use your hands? I did. I washed my hands. Okay. I good ready to roll. So, I'm going to let you wear <coughs> the, um, the gloves. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to start by adding all our ingredients. So I think this is going to be really fun. I'm already cut everything and drained everything, so um, we're skipping that. But um, but it was not a hard thing to do. <laughs> you look so professional. <laughs> You're ready to uh, make these beautiful steaks. So I got to get the gloves on. You got mm -hmm. to get. Okay. We are in business. So what we're going to do? We're going to mix um, the pork and the sausage. I'm just meshing it all mm -hmm. together? That's right. Oh, man. So this is going to be fun. Tell me a little bit about the festival. I know it's coming really soon. It is. You know, every year we pick a unique theme, and this year we picked a royalty theme. Yeah, check it out. Look at these designs. Mm. I mean, a pickle king. You know, in fact, matter of fact, I mailed one of these t-shirts to Buckingham Palace for King Charles coronation. Oh, I don't know if I'll hear anything back, but I definitely did. Well, How awesome is that? It is awesome, and I feel so special <laughs> that I've got my own, too. I know, I know. You and King Charles, y'all are tight, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, the, the North Carolina Pickle Festival, the 37th annual North Carolina Pickle Festival is on Saturday, April 29th from wow. 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. in downtown Mount Olive. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I know last year we have a lot of people and that was an amazing um, you know, experience for all ages. And that's what I love about the Pickle Festival. Yes, and last year was a record crowd of 60 thousand people and our town only has a population of 4,500 it was surreal it was amazing it oh was absolutely goodness. amazing to have all those people in Mile Island for the North Carolina Pickle Festival well that is really good so now we're going to start adding our other ingredients so we're going to add these uh, wonderful sweet salad cubes and that's where that's one of our requirements when they're sending these recipes to the uh, virtual competition we want to be sure that we have enough pickles in our recipe. Oh, Mount Olive, those mm -hmm. yummy, delicious pickles I have. That's right. And then we can uh, go. Do you want me to help you to dump yeah, them? Yeah, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we have these roasted peppers. Mm. And then we have a little bit of onions. And they are from um, my olive pickles too. Of course. And Hello. Then we have our breadcrumbs. So that way it will help you a little bit. And we have the Parmesan cheese. I tell you what, now I'm already looking forward to trying this. Mm -hmm. It looks really good and it smells amazing. <laughs> I can smell those pickles. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to wait a little bit until you kind of combine all those ingredients and then we'll add the other ingredients. I'm going to need a spoon. If not, we're going to make a mess. <laughs> now that's something I can do. <laughs> I, I know, I remember. Oh, she remembers. Yep, you got I'm checking that, the water. You know, she's the best cook and I'm just learning. Uh, I'm no, still a beginner. No, no, no. <laughs> I just have a lot of fun in the kitchen. So I'm going to add the ketchup. Okay. Then we'll do the egg. Okay. And a little bit of um, pepper. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of pepper. We always go to taste delicious <laughs> and our Italian seasoning. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. So while you're doing that, I'm already boiling the water for a pasta. So um, I started, so I don't want it, um, we don't want to really start it uh, working on our, our pasta yet because we don't want to get dry. Right. So how is that? Is that looking Feeling. all right? Mm -hmm. I think so. So now what we're going to make, we're going to make our steaks. So we need to have six steaks. Mm. Um, make a little patties? Yes. So if you want to kind of divide the meat first and then you start making oh, your patties, okay. because that way you know if you need to add uh, a little bit more. Look at this old talented cook over here. Oh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That way you can kind of divide everything. See, because this is what happened to me. So I learned the lesson. So I have too much in one and um, not too. Yeah, see, I know. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm just thinking make a patty and call it a day. And we want to be sure that we are fair with the people that we're sharing. So they don't want to <laughs> Oh, we have to share? I guess oh, they're waiting gosh. there. <laughs> <laughs> of course we will share. Do mm -hmm. I need to flatten it down too much? Or yes, leave it? please. Because if they're too big, of course they're going to take longer to cook. Mm -hmm. And how much meat did we actually use? Uh, one and a half pounds of um, pork and then the other one. It was half pound. Okay. No, a pound. So a lot of meat. No, no, really. <laughs> okay. I know mine aren't exactly equal, are they? <laughs> <laughs> and then also, we need to be sure that we can put them in here. <laughs> okay. So I need to, they I have to be a little bit thicker then. Yes, a little bit thicker and then maybe like an oval. That way um, we can kind of put them around the skillet. And I'm going to start um, heating our skillet. Okay. And in here we're going to put a little bit of butter. We have one tablespoon of butter. And we're also using olive oil. So we add um, a little bit of healthier fat. Okay, <laughs> healthier fat. <laughs> that sounds like an oxymoron, doesn't you, it? You see, it's like, <laughs> like normally we don't cook with butter in here, but right. But this, today, is, a this is a special occasion for the award-winning festival That's right. recipes. So. And we're just so happy that um, the people is getting so excited about sending their recipes, and we appreciate even if yours have not been uh, chosen for this. There were, it was so hard to find. I know, there's a so winner. many amazing mm -hmm. recipes that we get. And we get them in main course, appetizer, beverage, and, and dessert. dessert. Ooh. Oh, and so we're going to, at some point, throughout mm -hmm. all of our family, we're doing all four things. Yes, oh, we are. Heck yep. Yeah, we chose one for each category. Absolutely, I can't wait for that dessert. 
<laughs> I know. I can't Why didn't wait you start either. With dessert first to make sure we have enough room in our bellies. Oh, you're right. <laughs> well, next year we'll okay. do it different. Okay. <laughs> okay. Does that look a little better? Mm -hmm. That looks perfect. So now let me um, just melt the butter a little bit longer. Okay. Yeah, you know, there's so much goes on at the Pickle Festival. There's three stages of entertainment, carnival rides, a classic mm -hmm. car show, tractor show. Wow. I mean, and then this year we're doing something new called a pickle path. So if you have a vendor booth that has mm -hmm. something pickly, we made up that word pickly, P-I-C-K-L-E-Y, uh -huh. then that could be pickle food, pickle drink, uh, a pickle activity, a pickle craft, then you're going to get a special banner on your booth that says you have a pickly item so that when people look down through the streets they can see all those banners and know that there's something pickly at that vendor mm, booth. Isn't that cool? That so is it's so all cool. Path. Again, like that's one of the festivals, that's one of my favorite festivals because like I say, I think it brings the whole family. It's Did you say one of your favorite or the favorite? Oh. <laughs> I can't say because, you know, I have another favorite, too. No, I'm just picking that. <laughs> no, but it is a great festival. You know, it there's is. so the many different community, things. The uh, community works, you know, like uh, volunteers from the community. Yes, we have lots of volunteers from the community. And, of course, that's our one time that our civic groups and our churches all have an opportunity to raise funds that they turn around and put right back into our community. Right. So, yeah. you know, it's, so, it's just a win-win mm -hmm. situation. Yes, and, and I love that you want to do it with this. No, go or? for it. Let's see if we can do it easier. And if you want to remove your um, gloves and you can wash your hands and I'll try to have these ready. Okay. And we have our thermometer in here. So when they are ready, we will know. And according to the recipe, it says that four to six minutes in each side, but like I said, we'll use our thermometer to be sure that we have the right internal temperature. But these, oh my goodness, it looks amazing. Okay. Look, they're all gonna fit in the pan. I know, you did it just right, <laughs> look at all those shapes. Oh, is there is there water boiling no yet? No, not yet. You know, a watch pot never boils. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, so we got these, and I'm going to remove all these, okay. and we'll put it in here. So we're going to let them cook, but I'm going to put my timer. Okay. So that way we don't get distracted with oh, this. Oh, now it's it's coming, right? Yep. Okay. It's boiling. It's boiling. So if you want to start uh, putting the, oh, okay, let's talk about the ingredients okay. in here. So we have Parmesan cheese, grounded and shredded, and we also have uh, heavy cream, uh, pepper, salt, um, butter. We have more of the um, diced pickles, mm -hmm. and then we have um, half and half, and we have juice from the pickles. Pickle juice. Yeah. Uh -huh. pickle you juice. know pickle juice is really good for you. If you it is it. really good for and your you know, health. Uh, when I finish eating all my pickles out of my jar, I just tip the jar you back. Love that. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, and then of course we need the pasta. So we have chicken bouillon in here and if you just want to add it to our pot. Okay. And what you can mix a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I think we are ready to add the pasta. It's almost coming to boil. Okay. So just um, break it in half. And you're going to make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I always make a mess. Me too. It goes everywhere. You did so good. Hey, don't be, I, I got, I, I, got I, some oh, more. Oh, I, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I usually end up with spaghetti noodles on my floor at my house. I have no idea why. Well, look at you're doing it so good. Well, I normally like the whole thing comes. Oh, look, there oh, my one. Yeah, See, I too fast. you jinxed me. Yeah, one so little good. one. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. So we're gonna wait until our pasta is boiled, and you just follow the instructions from the package. And this will be like um, between like ten minutes, ten okay. to twelve minutes. And, uh, and then we can come back in here. We have like two minutes in here, but we can talk about the festival. Yes, yes. So, you know, we always try to do new, new and unique things at our festival. Mm -hmm. 
and um, PBS in North Carolina contacted me and they got some grant money and they decided that we're one of seven events out of the entire state that they're going to come and do some special children's activities and oh, have lots of giveaways yes. and the Rudel bus or van. Uh -huh. I remember I used to work with children a yeah. lot and we used to have So them. that's pretty exciting that, that we were chosen one of the events out of the whole I state know. so that's going to be really cool. I know and, that, and that's going to attract, okay let me, oh. uh, let's zoom, okay. We're going to do this so we can boil our um, pasta, cook our pasta. Okay. With these stove, you never know. <laughs> okay. And we also have lots of roaming, enter um, roaming entertainers. I got a guy coming on still, so I got somebody doing some magic tricks. You know, so those are really fun. Kids love to stop and watch all that entertainment. And it, it is amazing. Like I said, um, you know, I think it's one of the festivals that you you see a variety of everything you and, and then you learn so much not just about um your community but also like what the pickle plant does for our community yes and one of our most famous um, activities that people love to do is called pickle packing production challenge it's a free event you come and actually the pickle company brings out a huge tray that they bring right out of their pickle mm -hmm. plant and they bring in cucumbers and they have these little plastic uh, big plastic gallon jars and you get two people compete against each other so michelle i can take you on in a competition oh my goodness i believe you <laughs> <laughs> and we see who can pack the cucumbers or the pickles into the jar of the francis mm -hmm. you know that's what they do in the pickle plant so years ago i went and visited the pickle the pickle plant and um and there were some ladies that they spoke spanish and i started talking to them and they didn't talk to me uh -huh. and i'm like what's wrong oh because they were like yeah because know, they get paid by the number uh, of jars or something yeah i understand and you, that were, you were costing them money <laughs> that's right <laughs> And I said, oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, so that's a really cool activity that we introduced years ago so that people can see actually how some of the pickles are packed. Now, they're not all packed that way, but how mm -hmm. some of them are packed. And so that's a really cool thing you're learning and experiencing about the pickle factory and how they do stuff. Right, but that's amazing. Okay, do you want to try to turn them? Oh, Lord, you got a lot of trust in me, girl. We have our uh, timer here. Now I'm going to add my 10 minutes Woo! for the pasta. You did good. Yeah, and I think I'm already put the heat a little bit um, higher so we, they can cook a little bit quicker. Yeah, it's looking good so mm -hmm. far though. And this pot is having a party in here. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, she's excited about the uh, festival. Hey, who is it? Who is it? Exactly Everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we can take a break and we can come back. Um, we're going to wait until they cook a little bit longer. Like I said, five to six minutes or four to six minutes on each side. And then by that time, our pasta will be ready. I'll be looking forward to it. So, Julie, we are back. All right. And, uh, Are we ready? Look at this. Our steaks they are look looking. amazing. They do. And uh, we have. Yes, a, please check the temperature. Make so sure. So it's 165. So we're good. Uh, uh, turn it off a little. Yeah, 165. Yeah, 165. So be sure that you check several ones. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So that way we know that they're ready. Okay. okay. So we're going to keep them in here. You can cover them if you want. So that way they don't uh, get cold. But. Uh, I think the pasta is ready. You yes. try it. Yes. So we're going to drain the pasta. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be so go so so good. Do you want me to give you the bowl so you can? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh -huh. And we're just going to put the pasta in here. Okay. And guess what? Now what? We're going to mix it with all those juices. So I'm going to move this in the back. I think we can put this in here. All right. I work. wonder who's going to wash the dishes today. Um, I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, okay, so we're putting all this stuff in here? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, but we need to go kind of like, uh, we're going to do these ingredients first because we want to kind of thick the um, cream and then we'll add the other ingredients. Okay. okay. So let me turn this. And of course I have the wrong one. <laughs> it so always happen when it's so in yes. butter. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're gonna kind of melt the butter first. 
if you want to. Yeah, with that. That will be fine. Less dishes to wash. <laughs> so this is going to be our, our cream. And, um, and it's not very thick. The first time that I, ma I made it, it's not really thick, but it tastes delicious. So. Okay. Hey, delicious. Delicious. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> You relish the, the food, oh, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I cannot be really picky when we're talking about pickles, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Anytime it's got pickles in it, it's always good. That's right. So, um, what do you think about the steaks? And, like, I, I can't wait to try this. I know. It's Those look like, amazing. And a nice brown I know. color on them. Mm -hmm. And, mm. Yeah, and I, like I said, all the time, be sure that uh, just don't go with the color of the meat. Be sure that you're using your thermometer, and for um, ground meat, it needs to be 165. Mm -hmm. Good to know. That's right. Always food safety. Better be safe than sorry. That's <laughs> right. And especially when you have a recipe like this that you want to really enjoy it. Yeah. So, um, I think we can start by adding our other ingredients. Okay, so anything, mm -hmm. it matter what order? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. All right. It really, I try to always have all the ingredients ready in, in order, so it helps me because I can't remember. <laughs> but, um, but it's okay. You know, now when you're baking, that's different. That's when you're like doing science. So, um, just be sure that your heat is Right, that it's the not too high. All of these ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that is, um, and then this cheese. So we're going to stop there, and we're going to kind of let it boil a little bit, um, not too much because we don't want um, these to get burned. So basically, what we're looking in here is like the consistency. Okay. The, um, we want to get a little bit thick. Okay. It's going to be good. I know. It's going to be good. So how long does it take from start to finish to make this recipe? My goodness. I would say, um, if you have everything ready, I would say 45 minutes okay. maybe, mm -hmm, depending. And, um, it so also your anticipation is going to build during those 45 minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I think, you know, especially if you already have your pasta going on and uh, that... That can take a little bit uh, longer, but I think it's fine. And these doesn't really take long, so. But tell me more about the festival. Well, you know. Is it how many days it is? is it it's really a day and a half because okay. it starts on Friday, April 28th, and we only have like three events that happen on Friday. Okay. We have the all pay one price carnival rides from 5 to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. We have a... 5K cuke patch. You get it? Cuke patch? Cuke patch. Okay. <laughs> um, and this is kind of unique because it's done at nighttime. And we ask you to dress up in crazy costumes. We have a costume contest. For I don't think I have ever been there on Friday. Yeah. So I need and to do that. And then we have glow necklaces and glow sticks. So you, when you're walking around downtown and it's dark, people, you're very visible to people. But people enjoy that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have a concert from 7 to 10 p.m. with a country band called Southern Trouble. Mm -hmm. So Friday night's just kind of a good way to ease on in. It, Friday night tends to be more of our locals who come out. And, what and to enjoy for the those that we don't like the heat and yeah, the, so yeah, it gives okay. them a chance to come out on Friday night, and then everything else kicks off on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. And then of course it's just crazy stuff going on, like amazing stuff happening all day Saturday. I know that that is like really cool. We can um, start a little bit. Okay, so we're going to start seeing some bubbles there. So uh, that is a sign that is getting um, ready. So one of the things that I want to mention. When I was doing these, uh, we add a little bit more of half and half, uh, half, half and half. Half, 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 half. <laughs> I'm glad it's you, Julie. <laughs> so um, we were having a hard time, like kind of getting the uh, thickness right. right. But I don't know if it was the brand that we uh, used or okay. whatever. So we're using a little bit less this time, and we're using a little bit more cheese. Okay. So that was the only change that we did, but because we saw that that was not. So some of these us. recipes you have to try and experiment a little bit and, and right. tweak them a little and, bit. And, and you know, it's always like 
whoever made this um, recipe, Miss Brenda, yeah. has her secrets that she's oh, not she sharing in the paper. The rest of the right? <laughs> <laughs> so we all do that. So I think we can add the other ingredients okay. at this point. We're going to just add the pickles at the end. Okay. Because if not, that's going to again um, have some liquid, so we don't want that liquid too. So now it's just time to kind of like stir it and keep stirring so we can um, have that cheese. Mm. Well, mm -hmm. it's going to be good. I know it's going to be good. So are you coming to the Pickle Festival this year? I think I am ah. because I missed it last uh, last year, but I can't wait to be there. It's going to be a lot of fun. I a know. A lot of fun. You know, last year we got a lot of media attention, that more mm -hmm. so than normal, and we even had Woody from Woody and Wilcox. We had iHeartMedia doing stuff. It was unbelievable the amount of attention we got last year. And on Friday night, I forgot to mention, I got another mm -hmm. thing this year on Friday night. Jerry Jackson, meteorologist and WNCT TV9, is doing a weather forecast from downtown Mount Olive. We want to talk so about special. the amazing sunshine we're going to have that weekend. Oh, I, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's exciting that he'll be doing the weather forecast from Mount Olive. I'm so glad, and, and, I, and I hope the weather helps us. Me too. We need weather. But you know what? I have been there when we had a little bit of rain, and who cares? Yeah. Huh? Like we just go with the, the flow. show goes on. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was just raining a few pickles. That's all it was. Doing. That's right. <laughs> and I'm sure pickles love rain. So, <laughs> and you know, we the we, we're gonna stop out that way. They can kind of thick a little bit. My mm -hmm. Olive Pickle Company has a booth that they give out free pickles all day long. Well, last year there was so many people that the line to get free pickles was extremely long. So this year they're gonna actually have two booths uh -huh. to give out pickles. So we have a free shuttle service. If you park at Bobby Denning parking lot or the University of Mount Olive campus, you can take a free shuttle bus to downtown Mount Olive. It'll drop you off right in front of R&R &R Brewing. And immediately as soon as you get off the bus, boom, there's a pickle booth. And then as you get further into the festival, boom, another pickle booth. So, so you, just, you can come and you can start your trip with a pickle so and leave with a pickle. Two <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not that I need just one pickle. I can get yeah. you. Okay. okay. So we're excited about that, you know, and again, it's a good problem to have. We have so many people that want those pickles. That's so we just right. And, and, and the best thing is that we have people from other places. Like, oh, my gosh. It's not just from, from Wayne County, right? No, they come from Florida and Georgia and Ohio. We have people coming from Canada, Alabama. Oh, wow. We actually had this door that people sign. Um, when they come to the Pickle Festival and they put their name and what mm -hmm. city and state they come from and it blows my mind when you look at that door Aww. and see where people come from Texas and Tennessee and that's it's exciting. unbelievable. Yes. yes. Okay, I think we can start a little bit okay. one, one more time and what, how would you feel? Like I, I think now it has the texture, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to add the pickles. Okay. Okay, and stir it a little bit and then guess what that's going to go into our bowl with pasta okay and we're so gonna, we're just going to pour mm -hmm. it on top that's of that right. mm -hmm. All right. i'm going to clean out in here so you can have the space we're pouring all this on here mm -hmm. yes You can uh, use the spaghetti, that one, and then you can kind of mix everything. Mm, I know it's going to be good, Michelle. No, I know, and now you're making a mess. You have been doing <laughs> so good. <laughs> I can't leave you one minute by yourself. You turn your back and look what happened. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to. Um, I'm going to put a plate in here when you finish, when you're ready. Okay. You can put a little bit of pasta. Okay. And look at that. Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to bring one of the, um, oh, thank you. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. This is the best part. I know. Oh, to get to try it and sample it. I cannot wait. Okay. So are we ready? Bon appetit. 
We're gonna see why Miss Brenda got the first place in this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, we may need napkins, but <laughs> I cannot even catch the pasta. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that meat is amazing. Mmm. 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 Mmm.